Hello, Internet. Uh, today's sort of an exciting uh, day because we're going to start a process that I've been meaning to start since I moved up here a couple of years ago. So when I was a child, mom and dad had this old camper trailer pulled up here to use it as storage. It's been here for probably 20 plus years. Uh, and it's to the point now that even when they bought it, it was worn out. And now it's, it's just a snake den, a bee's nest, and a trash pile. And it needs to go so that I can clean all of this up and weed eat this area and make better, better use of this space. When we first moved up here, Dad offered to have this pulled down through the yard somewhere else, closer to their end of the property, uh, so that I could use this space. And I tried to jack it up to take a look at the axles underneath it because the wheels are still under it. And when I started to jack it up, I don't know if it was just rust or just the weight of the stuff in it, but the frame started to curl under its own weight. So I just tried to set it back down. And when I went to set it back down, it slipped off one of the blocks. So that now, even though it's mostly still sitting on blocks, it's no longer safe really to even walk in. So let me give you all the tour here. So the other day we spent an evening going through here and cleaning out everything of value. So basically if we wanted to keep it, it got put either in mom's shed down at her house or took up to our house. But 90% of it, which is trash, just got loaded on my trailer and hauled off to Rumpke. Now I came in here yesterday and I sprayed a couple of spots I could see easily with some wasper spray. Because like I said, as you can see here, it's been a haven for waspers for years. And that's one of the reasons that I just, I want it gone because it's not safe to be in. The floor is rotting out. The walls are rotting out. The windows are busted. The roof is a falling in. Most of the stuff in here was trash. And if it wasn't trash because of its age, it was trash because it got destroyed by the weather. You can see here, we kind of tried to patch the floor because the floor fell in here. And so you got to kind of watch where you step here. Now, I sprayed back in here yesterday. I couldn't see, but I stood back to the door because that wasper spray sprays pretty good distance. And I sprayed some wasper spray back in here. But there's still a pretty, pretty solid chance that when we start taking this down, there's going to be lots of wasper nests that are not clearly visible just standing here. There was a toy box here. There was a bunch of stuff under the sink, some jars and cannon jars and stuff. They ended up getting kept. I think the back has shifted since we were in here the other day. That looks, maybe it's just me, but that looks cockeyed as hell. There's a black snake that used to live in here. He never bothered nothing. He kept the rats and mice out. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, the floor has the floor has tilted. It's come up the wall. Uh, there was a dresser and a bunch of stuff in here the other day. And I guess the weight of that stuff sitting on it kind of kept it held down. Because where I tried to jack it up, when I tried to jack it up, was about here. And so I guess when I took all this weight out, and there's no support here on this block correctly anymore, the floor has moved. I'm not going to walk on it. Those wasper nests look abandoned. Let's walk around here and see what it looks like from the back door. Now I ripped the back door off of it the other day because we were at, there's some waspers. I don't know where they came from. There's a bunch living in that old air conditioner up there too. But I ripped the door off the other day to get some items out because I couldn't get them out with the door attached. So I just grabbed it and ripped it off. Uh, there's waspers in that old air conditioning unit up there. But let's go look at this back door. Yeah, you can see the floor has lifted up off of this. And so our task is basically to, as safely as is reasonably possible, tear this apart, burn the wood, sell the metal for scrap, trash up anything that's not safe to burn and haul it off to Rumpke. The good news is, despite the fact that this is a probably a 1960s or 70s model trailer, <clears throat> waspers, 
uh, it does not appear that it has asbestos. It's got regular old insulation in it. So I shouldn't have to worry about getting suited up, masked up, and anything like that to take the thing apart. I just got to be careful to do it in such a way that nothing falls on me and hurts me. Now, I'm not sure if this is steel, stainless steel, or if it's aluminum. The fact that I don't see any rust anywhere makes me think it's aluminum. Because even stainless steel, you know, if you ding it somewhere or scratch it, you know, over time it will rust. One way to tell, see if the magnet will stick to it. All right, magnet's not sticking to it. Magnets don't always stick to stainless steel. Another way to tell is when we're cutting it, or I could take a die grinder and hit it, steel will throw sparks. Aluminum will not. So I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting it up. If I see orange sparks at any time, that'll tell me it's steel. If I don't, I'll probably still take a die grinder and sand on it for a second and see if that throws sparks. My wasper spray. I've got some glasses. I've got my gloves. So let's get rolling, I guess. We clean this mess up. Make the yard a little safer for the kids, the dogs, and me. A woman and the kids and the dogs and me. Alrighty, so we got mains power because the inverter wouldn't run it, so I just ran some cords down to the well box because I added some outlets to the well. So. There we go. Alrighty. Let's give her a shot. Now what I want to do, I'll cut low to this seam, and then I'll cut up, and first section I'm just going to remove this. It's aluminum. Spartan Royal Mansion. Don't want to, there we go. Whatever brand that was. Uh, I was about to go looking for a mask because it, it not, may not be asbestos, but that dust is killing me. Right here. I got bit by an ant. Here I was worried about the waspers and it's the ants that got me. There we go. There we go. Well, there's one almost intact window. One little piece busted out right here. No, it's plexiglass. That's why the sun's bleached it over, I said 60 plus years. I might be able to just tug on it a little. There we go. We saved one of them. It's just plexiglass. But... I've got burnables. I've got the clean aluminum. Non-burnable. Copper wire because that can be scrapped. 
And this is going to be things that still need to be cleaned up, like that wood and metal that's still pinned together. I'll pull the wood off, put it in the burnable pile, put the metal over here in the metal pile. And so we should have burn, sell, rumpke. Found that while I got bit a while ago. Ants. Right now, I'm sorry guys to tell you, but this old thing has to go. You're gonna have to find some other place to live. So, I pretty well got back to here. I've got one little piece up here I still gotta pull down. A couple of pieces of wood. But it's starting to move an awful lot. So I think I'm gonna finish from here forward what I've started, get rid of this window, and uh, and then start cutting on it from the outside. Because at the moment, at the very least, I don't feel particularly safe standing underneath of it. So, you know, I'm almost tempted to just wrap a chain to the tongue and yank good and hard and see if it just falls apart under its own weight and then just clean up the mess after. On the side, I didn't cut There we go. One more piece of metal. On it. Well, I'm pretty tired. I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to make this a multi-part video because nobody's going to sit and watch an hour and a half long vlog of me cutting this thing out. So I'll try to just film it over the course of multiple days or a week or more, just depending on how long it takes me to get this done and uh, slowly get it out of here. We've needed to do this forever. The thing has been unstable even when all the pieces were on it. All the wood was rotting. The, the roof was sagging and falling in. The walls were rotted. The windows were busted. The floors separating from the walls. It just, it's not a safe or acceptable means of, of storing things anymore. I even, when I shoot YouTube videos out here, I usually I will try to avoid pointing the camera in this direction because I was sort of embarrassed to show this on camera. But uh, we're going to get it out of here and make better use of this space. Even if it's just another storage building, it's going to be a newer and better storage building that's not falling apart and full of waspers and snakes. So it's losing its rigidity pretty fast. The wood was basically non-existent, but it was there. And so as I'm cutting sections of wall out and knocking out what little wood is left, because some of it is dry because it was inside, so it's not completely gone. Uh, it's really losing its stability. Like every time I step on it, I feel the whole thing shift. And so I'm going to try to just take my time, sort of feel it out as I go. You know, ideally you could start on the roof and come down and just cut the roof out in sections. But it's so unstable, I don't want to have a ladder leaning against it and maybe have it start to go while I'm leaned against it. And I don't want to be under it when the roof collapses. So ideally, I can just continue to do what I'm doing until, eh, you know, about here. I'm going to start, I would maybe start really being concerned about the roof caving in. And uh, so what I may do is just continue cutting wall sections out from the outside even and uh, let the roof kind of collapse onto the floor as I go. And then once it's done, I can cut the roof up. The only problem with that is that the Sawzall has a metal blade on it. And when it gets hung up in those little two befores, they're not even really two befores, they're like one by twos. Uh, but when it gets hung up in the wood, it doesn't cut that well. And so it, I got to fight with it. And when I come across electric wires, you know, I've got to go inside and cut those electric wires. So I have to go back and forth between inside and outside, but hopefully I'll be able to make it work. Worst case scenario, I'll haul my air compressor out here with a cutoff wheel and I'll just cut it with that and just peel it off the outside. But I'm gonna try to do this as safely, but effectively as possible. I've got a, a cell pile, a burn pile, and a rumkey pile. The rumkey pile is getting pretty big with insulation and glass and whatnot. But uh, we'll get this knocked out and get the yard looking better. And hopefully y'all found it 
entertaining at the very least. But if y'all have any questions or comments, post them below. As always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.